Girl, Doja Cat, when I tell you, Miss Thing haven't got enough getting on that Instagram, chopping them gums. When I tell you, she is speaking out, but girl, they still dragging her. Yes, girl, they dragging her, and she is tired of it. She feel, she said enough is enough, okay? She said, I apologize, I'm sorry. She don't want you guys to repeat nothing she said, and she said, you guys are hurting her. She said, y'all calling her names, calling her ugly. And she said, when you call her ugly, you're calling other black girls ugly. And she is a representation of that. So y'all need to stop being so damn hateful and talk about her features. And she said, I can't change it. I can't change how I look. Why would you call me that? That's so hurtful. Girl, y'all ready to get into this? And we got to talk about Carly Red and Tiffany Haddish. Yes, girl. Mm -mm -mm. It is nasty out here. So before I start, I just want to say thank y'all so much for the love, the likes, the shares. Keep them coming. Make sure y'all like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl XOXO. <laughs> You know you love me, and I love y'all too, and I don't want y'all to miss a thing, so make sure y'all subscribe, click that notification bell, and I must give a big shout out to my Gossip Game member, CJ171, I see you boo, appreciate the love, if y'all want a shout out, be one of the first to comment, or always comment, I'm gonna shout you out, so... Let's get on Doja Cat. And I do got a video that we're going to play to talk about. So she gets on video and she's like, you know what? Y'all keep coming for my features. I represent black girls, black little girls. When they see posts talking about you saying that she's ugly, you're talking about her. Now people are saying, you know why they calling her ugly. You know why they going for her, right? I said, girl, why? They said, because she don't F with black men. I said, oh, is that what it is? They said, yeah, girl. They said ever since she say she prefer, I guess, Caucasian men, or they see her always entertaining Caucasian men, girl, she said the black men can't stand it, honey. They is not liking her. I said, oh, they getting mad because she got a preference, but let their ass have a preference. And what? Well, I ain't even going to go there, honey, okay? <laughs> honey, bye. So, mm, 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 can y'all believe that? So let's play this clip and then come back and I wanna know what y'all think about this. Check it out. Won't find anything of me being racist because I haven't been racist. Uh, and I'm well aware that I'm recorded in chat rooms. If you felt disappointed or embarrassed, uh, I, I'm sorry. And it is disappointing. There's young fans who look at me and think like, oh, if she's saying this word, then maybe I should be saying it too. No, you should not be saying that word, period. Because people are going to realize how fucking stupid this all is. I'm very, very fucking angry. I have every reason to be pissed the fuck off, trust me. It's toxic and it's disgusting and people are coming for my looks, things that I can't change about myself. That's so fucking low of you. There's somebody out there who looks up to me and you saying I'm ugly and I look and that person looks like me. Little girls who look like me are going to think they're ugly. So therefore, you don't give a fuck about black people. Don't act like you do. Stop trying to use my platform to make it seem like won't find anything of me being racist because I haven't been racist. Uh, and I'm like you're some sort of fucking hero because you're not a hero. That's none of your fucking business about how I feel about myself. There's no way I can even prove to you that I, that I think I'm beautiful. I can just tell you that I think I'm beautiful. So for you to even make that part of some sort of narrative is so stupid. It's so fucking low. The way that you guys are going about this is hurting people. Logic to hurt someone and hurt young people who look up to me to combat something that you think is going on. Motherfuckers think that I hate myself. You don't know that I hate myself. And you're going to sit there in your fucking basement and you're going to keep on leaving comments. Because what do you have going for you? Zero. You're going to feel real fucking stupid and real disappointed in yourself when you realize what you're doing. You get out of your fucking cave and realize that you're fucking up. Like you're some sort of fucking hero because you're not a hero.
All right, so what do y'all think? Did y'all hear what she said? She kept going off about, you know, you guys are hurting people. When you attacking her, you're hurting people. Now people may say, no girl, we just hurting your ass cause you hurt so many people with your accents and what you were doing. But I guess she sees it, look, I'm trying to do better, okay? And if we want to move together, you don't do it by hurting me. You know, you don't do it by saying I dislike myself. That seemed like that really got on her nerves. And uh, maybe, I don't know, do you think she gets the concept? Because she says she loves herself. She thinks she's beautiful, you know? But I don't know, but I think more people was like, do you love your black roots? Do you love, you know, um, where you come from as far as your ancestor, the history? Are you prideful in that? Are you happy with your hair? You know, even though you got kinky hair, you may see it as a distress. Are you comfortable with it? Because, you know, you said before, you hated it. But, um, shoot, be honest, I know a lot of people that say that same shit. I do. I ain't gonna lie. And I know people. And I know, um, you know, African-American people in my neighborhood that be like, oh girl, I don't got that kinky hair. I got that good hair, okay? My hair just lay down, all right? And I'm like, uh, mind you, they got a relaxer, right? But they got that good hair. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing about But um, hmm, comment, let us know what you guys think about that. So let's go on to Tiffany. So Tiffany, uh, she comes out out of nowhere and she pretty much said, you know, I declined the role. Do you know, they wanted Chris Rock to put the milk on my face. And you know what I mean when I say put the milk on my face. Yeah, girl, they wanted him to put the milk on my face. She said, I'll do that in real life, so I'm not going to do it here, right? When I tell you that pissed off Carly Red, and you're like, why would that piss off Carly Red? How is Carly Red and Tiffany Haddish in the same picture? So anyway, um, Carly Red, she said, girl, you need to stop. You know you was not gonna be the one they were spilling the milk on. She said they had a double and that double was me and you cost me some money, but don't worry cause they still paid me anyway, girl, you tripping, all right? <laughs> Honey, ain't that something? Yeah, girl. So people were saying Cardi Red is nasty. You know, she allowed a man to put milk on her face. Mm -hmm. What y'all think about that? Tiffany says she don't do it in real life, so she ain't going to do it. I just say, why don't you just say you just find it disgusting and you don't want to do it? Because I'm sure if you have to play an assassin, I'm sure you have never assassinated anybody or you never murked somebody, but you'll probably play the role, you know? Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. I think her excuse should have been, I, I don't, I, I, I cannot live with myself seeing images of somebody milking me on camera versus saying, I don't do it in real life. Cause I'm sure a lot of stuff she don't do in real life that she probably did in a row. But hmm, comment, let us know what you guys think about this. I love y'all for real. And I'm going to see y'all sooner than later. Bye.